So let's talk about the surgical approach then. Mm -hmm. So surgical approach, uh, standardly um, in the U.S., most of the time um, it is an open operation. But what we like to do first uh, for many patients who present in the U.S. is something called a diagnostic laparoscopy. What that is is a simple surgery. It takes less than one hour. But we want to do that to see if there's any cancer that is spread outside of the stomach. The reason being is about three to four out of ten patients in Western countries, the U.S. being one of them, will actually have that the disease has already progress farther than we would liked. And so with that, we are able to then focus on which road do we go down? Because there are options in those situations and there are surgeries and uh, what we call multi-modality management, meaning myself and another colleague managing those patients, um, if it's spread and that's stage four disease, or if it's not, then we know, okay, we're gonna enter this other paradigm, this other treatment um, algorithm. After that, usually, uh, chemotherapy is uh, the mainstay of therapy in the U.S., followed by surgery. Surgery is either open, meaning you have a incision from kind of the bone, your first bone you feel in your belly, is called a xiphoid, to about your belly button, or we do it laparoscopically or, or robotically, which means we do it with the cameras and there are small incisions uh, for those patients. Is it possible to locally resect in the stomach, or do we normally have much bigger kinds of operations? So usually if it's a gastric cancer, it's usually going to be a, a major operation and resecting that major component of the stomach, mainly because of the risk of what we call nodal spread, meaning that it's going in through the wall of the stomach and it's spreading into the lymph nodes in that area. So for our best prognosis and to help those patients, yes, then resecting that major part of the stomach is important. In early stages, and this is why we're together, some patients can have a local resection, and that would be someone provided by uh, Dr. Nam, which may be curative in those situations. Yes, so there are really selected a uh, group of patients that after careful examination with endoscopy, endoscopic ultrasound and CAT scan, we did not detect uh, metastasis or spread then that some of those patients might be eligible for endoscopic resection and it can be curative, uh, can be considered as a, a alternative uh, treatment for surgery. But that should be discussed with the patient and the, uh, our group before we decide a decision.